LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on your keyboard. You can see that in this key, in particular, uh, there's a uh, hook at the bottom here, a single hook, and uh, at the top corners, there's two metal plates that have holes in the middle. So you have to make sure to look at different keys, depending which one you're installing, so that um, you can look at the position of those pieces. Sometimes the single large one is going to be at the top or maybe left and right so the position of that determines the position for these pieces and we we uh, what we're going to do now is click these two pieces together to make one piece and you start out by determining the position of the larger piece here you can see that at the bottom it has a, uh, a thicker bar than the horizontal bar that's at the top then it has two sticks coming out from the bottom corners and two sticks at the top corners the um, the sticks coming out from the top corners or I shouldn't say top I should actually say uh, where the thinner horizontal bar is on the piece that side is going to face wherever the two metal plates are not the single hook the two pieces. In this case they're at the top so we're going to face that thin bar of the plastic piece at the top. Then make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that. Um, by feeling underneath the side bars or vertical bars here. If you feel a bump that faces the keyboard and on top it's supposed to be one smooth from side to side or from from bar to bar. So now you know the position for this piece. Put it down for now get the next piece which is this and you can see it has a uh, two sticks at the top then two sticks in the middle those uh, sticks in the middle are going to click into the holes that this piece has in the middle of the vertical bars I'm not sure if you can see them there but yeah that's where they go so then it has a, a bottom bar that uh, bar, the thicker bar, I mean that little bar at the bottom that has to go wherever the single hook is. In this case it's at the bottom so we're going to put that towards the bottom. Then make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that uh, by feeling the top bar. If you feel a gap or like a fitting then that faces the keyboard. On top it's supposed to be one smooth piece from one bar to the other. So now you know the position for both pieces. What we're going to do now is put the uh, small piece over the large piece like this and insert the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece and then hold it down with uh, that position. Once you have that, what you want to do is insert the sticks that are in the middle of the small piece into the hole that are in the middle of the large piece and you do that by simply separating both pieces enough so that the holes can actually go into I mean the sticks can actually go into the holes that are on the larger piece then you go to the other side you hold the side that's already in and the same thing you just stretch the large piece enough for the small piece to, uh, to go in 
Now both pieces are one piece. What you want to do is insert the um, the sticks uh, that are at the top. I shouldn't say at the top. I should say wherever the uh, thicker part of the small piece is. Remember, this is the the, the bar of the small piece, and this is the thicker bar part of the small piece. So the thicker part of the small piece. Uh, lets you know that those two sticks are going to go wherever the two metal plates are on the keyboard and then you just want to you have to actually put this whole piece down not so vertically as you insert the sticks the whole piece has to be kind of flat so now you hold that part that's already in there and with your uh, you, you get a blade or something thin that'll fit in between the rubber cup and the plastic pieces and you stretch both pieces enough for the plastics like to stretch so that the metal hook can grab onto the plastic pieces there just like that then you grab your key you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides and that's laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys